going everyone and welcome back to some more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony! Last time, which was a while ago by the way, uh, this epi these episodes are gonna have a lot of discrepancy between them, be between them because I only can only do sessions of one episode a day and it's been several weeks of interval between them. But anyways, last episode we got introduced to about half of the cast of Danganronpa V3. We've met our protagonist, Kaede Akamatsu. We've met the ultimate detective, Shuichi Sayara. We also met, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Tsumugi... Uh, I forgot her last name, damn it. It has been a while since I've touched this game, and I'm trying to avoid spoilers, so I don't usually search stuff actively with V3's characters on it, so apologies. But we also met uh, K1B0, who wants to be called Kibo, which is the ultimate robot. Oh, Tsumugi is the ultimate cos cosplayer, by the way. We, and finally, I think, oh yeah, we also met Rantaro Amami, which uh, I remember saying that I don't trust him. <laughs> and uh, my opinion stands, uh, he seems a little... a little. Y you get you get my meaning from my last two playthroughs. And last but not least, we met Kokichi Oma. Um, or Uma, I don't know, I think it's Oma, but I'm not sure how it's said. Anyways. The vibe I got from him, he's the Nagito of this game, absolutely, like, there's no way he's not gonna be the Nagito of this game, like, from the way he talks, the, his expressions, he just seems fitting for this, you know? Anyways, this time I want to at least finish the prologue, if I can't do that, or at least finish, uh, at least meet the whole cast. Sounds simple enough, so, shall we head in? Wow, I like this loading screen a lot, actually. And I can't get how I can't get over how pretty this game looks. Yeah, Rantaro was the last one we met. Let me just check if everything's all right. It shouldn't harm the game itself this time. Yep, because it is on borderless. All right, review the report cards. We know Kaede, of course, our protagonist, the ultimate pianist. We know Tsumigi Shirogane. All right, there's the name. Shuichi Sayara. Rantaro, Mami, Kokichi Oma, and K1BO, B B0. Well, I say zero as so many times, so. Alright, so where the hell am I supposed to go? This room store? Uh, it's locked. I guess this doesn't open. Let's look, let's look somewhere else. Okay. I think I had seen that one last, uh, last episode as well. It's the warehouse, huh? Does this open? Right? I'm guessing there's somebody inside. Yep. Is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Wow, it is. It is pretty spacious. I wonder if everything's alright in the recording. This is drawing out a lot of my CPU and I just noticed it. But yeah, apparently everything is going fine. Let's talk to you. Damn it! Damn it, where the hell is it? We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey, hey uh, what are you looking for? Bitch. Don't stick up on me, bitch! Oh, Jesus, I literally just met you and you've already called me a bitch. <laughs> hey. hey, I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Kaida like... Hey! You crotch... crotch rot! You st <laughs> hey, crotch rot, you still have a what? <laughs> well, I just started this! Come on! Huh? What? yourself what <laughs> I, um, uh, huh a guy like you can only dream of letting a big boob the hottie like me <laughs> I have several questions go on get yourself a good eyeful uh, um, uh, oh, I wasn't staring my eyes just happened to to each you're not helping your case shut up what? What? Who is this girl? And why do I feel like she's gonna be an amazing character? Oh, my eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grow. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What? <laughs> I can identify pervs on sight, and you are definitely a fucking perv. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes? And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch? Holy shot. Everyone wears pants, though. <laughs> ah, everyone knows that only pervs wear hats. 
Jesus Christ. Stop it. Leave me alone! I can wear a hat if I want to! Oh? What? What the hell? Why are you, are you getting pissed off at me for? Tell the world, the world you're sorry! If you, if you startle me into losing motivation, the loss will be felt across the entire world! Hey, how, your vulgar language is in call for it. Just, who are you anyway? Huh? Seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mui Ruma! Mui Ruma. Yeah. The ultimate inventor. I, that's a talent I wouldn't mind having, honestly. Um, I never heard of you. Um, so what kind of things do you invent? Hmm. I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep. Even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after re I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> I mean, she is kind of right. Apparently, someone did the math. We spend approximately a third of our lives sleeping. Well, for those of us who have, like, eight hours of sleep every day. And that's ridiculous! Oh, well, now that I think about it, you didn't even need to do the math. It's a third of the day. Eight, eight, eight. Eight divided by 24 is one third, and if you multiply that by literally every day of the week, you get, well, a third. No, this one time I invented these really stupid eyedrop contact lenses as a gag. Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you sm more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you two. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your do stuff while sleeping inventions. Um. By the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. What was that? Huh? Are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Huh? Medicine? Are you hurt or feeling sick? Fucking moron! No, I need so <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I'm starting to like you already. I mean, just... I literally just... <laughs> God damn it. I need strong meds because I want to trip my fucking balls off. I was trying to contain myself. I apologize. I just want to set my mind free and forget all about this shitty situation. Oh, Wait, what? You can use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. Stop it. What the hell? My genius can be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. You're genius. You, you have issues. Not that I'm complaining though, but you have issues. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loosey goosey. So, are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? I'm sensing a bit of Mikan in there, and I don't like it. They say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. I like her a lot. Mew's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. <laughs> Shuichi's still like. Uh, I was. I. I'd rather we not we had not met this person. What's up with Chuichi? He's been quiet ever since Miu mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk about it? Alright. Alright, let's leave, I guess. We've met Yeah, we've met half of the cast, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry, I'm I'm terrible. I just came back from uni and uh <laughs> it's, it's forcing my brain a bit, a bit, a, a bit, bloop, English. Kaede Akamatsu, Tsumiki Shirogane, Miyui Ruma. Alright, three, four, five, six, seven. One more to be half. Okay, hopefully I can... The dining hall. There's gotta be somebody in here. This is the dining hall? What the shit is this place? Is this a dining hall? A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place is called the Ultimate Acad Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. Uh, also, speaking of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles... 
I still don't get what that was about the beginning of the game. Like, the part where everybody forgot their ultimate talents, they were dressed like normal high school kids, and, well, they remembered being kidnapped. What is happening? Alright, anyways, let's talk to people, I guess. Huh? Oh god. I'm yelling so I can build up my spiritual- my spirit energy! Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? I've heard of- I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. I must be prepared for combat at all times! Just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with Neo Aikido! Aikido? Then you're- A martial artist! Oh, I always imagined Aikido masters to be huge burly guys, but you're so cute! Cute? Uh, stop it! I'm... I'm not cute! My face crinkles when I suck down a shake! When I wipe my face, my eyelids turn ins- Okay, not something that I needed to know, Tenko, but uh, okay. Um, I see. But I think you're cute, right, Chuichi? Okay. Uh, oh, uh, right. Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Your, your face looks really intense now. I don't like to be praised by degenerate... <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, I feel personally attacked, and I'm gonna finish the episode here. Oh, oh for, I forgot the reaction voice, honestly. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? Yes. It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. Yeah. You're right. That is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Hey. Uh, by the way, what is this Neo Aikido you mentioned? That's right. Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So, your Aikido is all self-taught. That's cool. I mean, I like Tenko, but I don't like Tenko so far. <laughs> um, I've heard of you. I mean, it's practically impossible to find anything uh, to find anything Danganronpa related nowadays and not find your face plastered onto it. Well, either yours, Nagito's, uh, uh, well, pretty much anyone that has a good impact on this story. Ew, so what are so are we stuck here? Um. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But don't be scared, I'm sure we'll, we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. No. I'm not scared. It's just a pain. The thing like this won't make me panic, cause I'm a mage. Huh? A mage? Hmm. That's right, I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate mage. Oh, we playing Final Fantasy now? When, when did we get into a, JR, a J or any RPG, honestly? <laughs> but I'm officially called the ultimate magician. Okay, that's better. I'm still gonna call you the ultimate mage. I'm still gonna call you the ultimate mage because I believe in mages. Fight me. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. I mean, it makes sense though, since magic doesn't exist. Oh, Eh, magic does exist. Huh? Because I am a mage. You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Huh? Just a ruse? You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. Also known as the Hall of Magicians, it's where the world's magic lovers gather. I was the youngest person to ever win their Magician of the Year award. That's pretty cool! It's all a, ru a, a, a ruse, rouse, whatever. I don't know. It's ruse, right? It's gotta be ruse. They're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. God, yeah, it can be an episode of mine without me just doing shit like that. 
Because of this, because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. Here, there. Don't be sad. Hey. Well, you could show us your magic. Then we would believe you. That's right. Oh, that's right. Help us out with your magic. And take us back to when we originally. No. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Mm. I see. Then what can you do? You're right. I can choose the card you pick, pull out coins, and release doves. Yeah, you're a magician. Eh, if I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. Oh, Himiko. The world is a big place, Himiko. I shall use my power of the force. I, I literally have the force in this game. You cannot tell me otherwise. What? Rules? Okay. This looks like the rules for the dining hall. Dining hall rules. You may eat any food you find in the dining hall. Please take responsibility for all utensils and dishes used and cleaned up after yourself. The dining hall will be locked during night time. Night time? So it's closed at night? Oh, that sounds like the rules of the, of the first game's dining hall. The second game you could go to the dining hall at pretty much any time. Since it wasn't the hotel. Also, I have been listening to a bit of Beautiful Light. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, like, a lot. Beautiful Light has been my jam lately. I'm pretty sure I've been this way. I don't know where I'm going. End of hallway. What the hell? Wait, I can go there? Oh! Oh, okay, so this is where we ran in the first episode. Where, what is this? It's probably locked. Yep. I guess this is an open. Let's look somewhere else. Okay. Okay. Also, apparently Shuichi and Leon Kuwata from the first game shared the same uh, English voice actor, and I'm like, what? In fact, there's a lot of ca a lot of voice actors and actresses that gave their voices to many characters. All right, so now we've met more than half of the cast. I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're missing seven. If is this the gym? It's locked. It wasn't before. Huh? It won't open. Seems like we can go into the gym. What's the matter? What's the matter, sweet Shuichi? No. It's nothing. I just feel strange. Um. Strange? How so? Like, deja vu? I feel like I've been here before. Could it be? We might be caught up in something even stranger than we imagined. Well, it's natural to feel unsettled when we know so little about what's going on. Yeah. But we'll probably be fine. We'll probably be fine. Um, what makes you say that? Because, because we have 16 ultimate students on our side. As long as we work together as friends, I just know nothing bad will happen. Kokichi, I'm about to end this man's whole career. I just know it. That fucker's gonna make our life so fucking difficult. He just has that Nagito feel about him. Hence? I know he's gonna fuck everything up. He just has those fucking eyes, you know? You think about it like, oh yeah. But this game is really pretty. I can't get over that. And I think I don't think I'll ever I ever will. Probably like midway through the, the playthrough I'll forget about it, but until then it's just it's just ridiculously good looking. I mean sure, this game is older than the other two and it makes sense. Makes sense to look better, but can I oh can I oh I I can't do anything else but praise it. And I feel like we're going in circles at this point. Um how can I open my minimap? Oh yeah, there it is. So we've been here. We've been here and talked to literally every person on the second floor, but why do I also feel like I've talked to every person on the first floor? Alright, let's go to the let's go to the girls' bathroom, I guess. This is the girls' bathroom, right? You know? Shuichi, do you mind waiting here? Uh, okay. uh um sure. Jeez. Don't give me that weird look. I'm just gonna check if there's anything inside. I doubt there'd be an exit, but just in case. Sorry. Aww. I like Shuichi so far. Alright, what do we have? The toilets seem normal, but it's weird that the plants are growing this thick. 
Yeah, that's something I noticed. Are there are plants growing everywhere? What do we have here? Oh god! Uh, it's tri yeah, it's no, it's not triangle. It's a uh, what was it? Oh, L1. All right. The triangle can make me investigate stuff, I guess. All right. Well, there's nothing here, and I doubt I can get into the boys' bathroom with Ch with Chuichi. Chuichi. Yeah, this is the boys' bathroom, right? I can go in there, not even in this situation. Oh, if you want, I could go look. Huh? huh? What? I'm not that curious about what's in there. Remember. Well, this is an unusual building. Anything could be in there. Wait here a minute. All right, so now I'm playing as uh, Chuichi. Well, not really, but whatever. With that, Chuichi opened the door and walked inside. Hmm. It was just a normal bathroom. Nothing out of the ordinary. No one was inside. See. I see. That scared me. Maybe detectives live for these kind of scary situations. I mean, yeah, Shuichi technically is the ultimate detective, right? Where, where, where am I supposed to go? I feel like I've been everywhere! Well, that's not true. I've been to Classroom A where Kokichi and uh, Kibo are, but... Oh, right! I didn't go down here. It looks like it goes down to the basement. Shuichi. Uh, what should we do, Shuichi? You wanna head down? I don't know. The basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. That's right. Then let's proceed with caution. With you at the front. Uh, okay. uh, so I'm in the front. I see. Wow. With with hesitant Chuichi leading the way, we carefully made our way down the stairs. I really, really like the interactions between these two. They're so adorable. Oh god. Um. It doesn't look. It doesn't look very dangerous to me. Really. Oh well, some dangers are hidden where you can see. I see. To reach you, you have quite the imagination, don't you? No. No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we should look around the basement too. Right? There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. All right, time to look. <gasps> but <laughs> that 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 didn't happen. That that didn't happen. All right, let's let's ignore what I just did. That was a bra moment, a major bra moment. Oh Jesus! This is the lib the library is in the basement. What kind of sick twisted place is this? Oh, there's somebody here. As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Jesus! I is this a library? You're right. It there are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Uh, uh, does that bother you? Are you a need freak, Shuichi? No. No, it's just, I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? That's someone. No. Ah, it's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Alright. A globe? That globe looks really cool. What a beautiful globe. Okay, then. <laughs> I love how janky the physics are. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's, let's see who you are. Hmm? Um, are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. I... I'm Kaede Kamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm... I'm Shuichi Sayara. I'm... and I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez. Jeez, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Um... And what about you? Maki Harukawa. Ultimate child caregiver. With a voice like that? What What the hell does even... What? Okay, now I'm curious. I, I'm not very knowledgeable about the English language. I, I'm not as knowledgeable as I want it to be. So I have no idea what caregiver get, <laughs> what caregiver even meant means. I'm thinking someone who gives care, as the name suggests. But I'll be right back. Just like I thought. Yeah, I might not be that good in English, but... I, I at least know how to put two words together to make another. <laughs> so caregiver would be interesting, but you look scary. And you have a little I see. ultimate child caregiver, huh? 
I just, I don't look so like someone who'd like kids, do I? Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Um. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then they can probably tell how, you, how loving you really are, Maki. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen you've chosen a perfect a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? I mean nothing. It's just I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage. Orphanage, huh? I see. Um uh, by the way, do you know anything about the monocubs? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, someone's gotta be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. Who would I know? Hmm. Well, fair point. The monocubs are definitely involved in our situation. Got a hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have all figured out what's going on already? Huh? What? Um. Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well. Seriously? You think you can, we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would just let us walk out of here? That's not true. If they want to end this, then I, then we will. I know we can, we can do it if we work together. What? Work together? With strangers? You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. Ooh. Ooh. Maki is serious. Maki is a little too serious, honestly. Gives me a little chill. Oh, Maki left. Our conversation finished, she quickly, quickly headed out of the library. Hmm. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem to she didn't seem to like No, she didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez. Jeez, don't say that. Hmm, interesting. A moving ladder? This looks like a ladder for reaching books on the higher shelves. Why do I feel like that's gonna be important for a murder later? And no, I have not played this game. I'm using my force powers. All right, so these are the things I can investigate. Well, let's leave, I guess. Mono coins are a priority, <laughs> always. Anyways, we have a gaming room. Be still, my heart. Be still. Just enter it and don't think about Danganronpa two. Oh, uh, she would have loved this room. Huh? It looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? Is it normal for school to have its own game room? Well, It certainly is strange. Who are you? You're really short. No. What the fuck is that your voice? Jeez, what a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um. Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? You've still got a ways to go. Isn't that what you guys were are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay. However, we may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here compared to prison anyway. Huh? Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? It's an old story. That's an old story. Ryoma Hoshi. The man called the ultimate tennis pro no longer exists. What? I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Okay, so we literally just went from Final Fantasy to fucking Kingdom Hearts. Ryoma Hoshi, okay. Ah. Ryoma Hoshi? Really? I've seen you in the newspaper. This, the tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down the mafia. Huh? You took down a mafia by yourself? If I remember correctly. The paper said he shot them through the head with tennis with his tennis balls and an iron ball. The tennis skills and an iron ball. What the hell? Really? <laughs> so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used this talent to kill? Um but why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. <laughs> because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? No. No, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. He's he's probably gonna be a victim. <laughs> Knowing Diamond Rope, he's probably gonna be a victim. <laughs> As he said that, he turned his back to us. 
he's probably gonna be a victim. I, I don't care. The only time where this was the exception to the rule was probably with Celeste and Diamond Rover 1. Huh? Hmm. Looks like it's locked. Yeah. I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. I don't even know what it's called. The sliding door. Calling it right now, the mastermind is behind that shit. I don't know. I don't know why. This I swear to God, I haven't touched this game yet. I haven't played it, I haven't finished it, I, I don't even know most of the characters. Or how they are, or the redeeming moments, I don't know, or if anyone has a redeeming moment, honestly. From what I've heard, the story is pretty good, but just judging from past games, I swear to God, man, I swear to God, that thing has gotta be where the mastermind is. Huh? Um. What's wrong? Um. This door barely opens a crack, was it poorly built? I see. Well, nothing we can do about it, let's search somewhere else. I just, I just feel it, alright? Shut up. It's my intuition. Call it a, call it a true gamer's intuition. Wait, is, is this all there is down here? Ah, that can't, that can't be. I'm still missing some, I'm still missing people. I'm still missing, how many people actually? Alright, one, two, three, four, actually I can just see it. I'm missing, I'm missing five people. Where are they? Okay, if there aren't if they aren't here, they gotta be somewhere else. Thing is, I've already investigated everything. I think so, anyways. Well, let's go back up, I guess, and just look for everybody. I might just cut to when I find somebody, actually. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Be all right back, guys. Well, never mind. I was about to cut off, but then I remember. But then I realized. Yeah. This is open. Oh, we couldn't go through here before, right? Looks like the iron gate opened. Someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Yeah, just like I just like I thought. Huh? Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Shuichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey. Which means that's the exit. Mm -hmm. That door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? No. Wait, I don't think we should open the doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Oh, I didn't hear your voice! Damn it! Worrying about that is unnecessary. I've already examined the doors. Uh. Oh, uh... Yes. You wonder who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Korekio Shinguchi. I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. Gotta say that, I love your fucking design. You look badass. Korea. Uh? Korea. Korea uh, I don't know how to say that name. Korekio? Korekio? Bing bing. Uh, please just let me rewind time so I can listen to his name again. Korekio? Anthropologist? Please call me Kia. As, as for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? Okay, sure. Anthropology is... Anthropology studies customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For, for example, certain aspects of birthday or of New Year's celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through regular, rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's fun. It is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Um, oh, um... I... I find all aspects of humanity, even the other parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Okay, never mind what I said about Kokichi. This guy is gonna be the new fucking Nagito. Yep, yep, this guy's the same as Nagito, but instead of hope is humanity. <laughs> People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he's one too. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Okay, <laughs> if not- <laughs> if- Oh my god, I can't just stop thinking about Nagito, can I? I, I was about to say, if Nagito- um... 
If he heard you say that, he'd probably beat the shit out of you. And, uh... <laughs> Spoiler alert, the last time he got pissed, um... He blew up an hotel lobby. <laughs> Shattered? What does he mean by that? Alright, obtain the friendship fragment with Kore... 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 Uh, Korekyo. I'm just gonna call him Korekyo, and if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, please! Because I'm a sack piece of shit! Who doesn't know how to pronounce Japanese names? Anyways, this is the entrance door. Currently it's facing south. Shuichi. Then let's go. Uh, okay. okay. Remember as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take that first step forward. To be honest, I was scared, because what if beyond this is just That's wrong. Ah just this isn't like me! Aww. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I gotta run I'm gonna run away. I gotta move forward! Are you okay? Kaide! Don't worry about it. Let's go, Chuichi. I psych myself. I psych myself up, and with newfound strength, walk boldly toward the door, toward the doors. Wait, we exited. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and a, a cage, a wall. What? 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 What is what? What? Huh? 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 Oh. All right. So the complex isn't closed. What? Oh, how the tables have turned, ladies and gentlemen. How the tables have turned. So this is basically a mix between one and two. You have the inside of the building, which is an academy, and the outside of the building, like, well, Jabberwock Island. Hold on. Had to blow a bit of dust and had to mute myself for a second. Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both cage and wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying, a terrifying chord. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where I looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? This sounds like the spare syndrome. Oh, not again. You fucks again. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails, and fingernails fell out. That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. A yeah, but it's so awesomely huge! I can see why it's called the end wall. Huh? End wall? That's right. Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. Hey. What are you talking about? What? Huh? What were we talking about? Yeah. Huh? Was someone talking? Was I talking? <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing and explain yourselves! There is nothing to explain, this is simply how it is, so please don't bother. You can't get out of here. That wall has no entrances or exits, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. An ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. But they can still sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone! Help us! Please help us. Someone, anyone, please help us. We're trapped inside this huge cage. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Oh, Kaida, don't look like that, please. That's gonna make me. That's gonna make me sad. Please stop. You'll you'll hurt your throat. Yeah, scream all you like! No one can hear you anyway! No one can hear us? Hey. What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Wait. Say something! Hey. One of you just answer! Hmm. Monodam is ignoring them excellently, because he refuses to open his heart. <laughs> you can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Now, now, let's all get along. Dumbass. Shut up, we're the Mono Cubs. We need to be tough and whatnot. 
What is this? You things, this school, what is all this? You bastards have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out for yourselves. Actually, At least you watch your step while you explore. This school is still under construction. I forgot the fret. Huh? Under construction? I looked around. I looked around. Oh, wow, it is. It was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. Let me guess. Oh, look! It's a face we all know and love. <laughs> I'm back, bitches! Probably. I don't know what the, where the fuck he is, but I, I probably know he's here. I mean, he, he he's on the logo of V3, so... It looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Let me guess. Every time we clear a chapter, a new, a new story will be added to the building. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Um, Are they still in the middle of building this school? No. I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Oh! Oh! Oh, so that's why the plants and flowers are all fucking thick. And not that thick, I'm, I mean, <clears throat> they're growing pretty heavily. That's what I meant. Either way, the construction will finish soon once we set the excisal. The Ex excise cells on I autopilot. So those are the robots we saw in the first episode, but everyone has forgotten about them. Huh? E Exosols? Yeah! What's more of a biker gang? The Exosols no work construction to support their wives and kids. <laughs> the robots really need that kind of backstory. Their steering wheels are, are leopard print, and their dashboards are lined with arcade prices. You stupid. Seriously, knock it off, you guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. Ah, uh, the mono cubs. Why? Ah, uh, there they go again, and there they go again. But more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape. We can't go over that wall, and no one's coming to rescue us. Oh, but if I give up now, then what? I slapped both my cheeks, and as my face grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. Hey, hey, Shuichi, let's go see if we can find a way out. I slapped him beside his head just firm enough to get his attention. Oh. Ow! <laughs> ow! Ow! <laughs> ow! You hit me in the head! Ow! You know? Chuichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. Oh, Kaede. I like Kaede a lot. Right now, it's my favorite character. <laughs> well, to be fair, we haven't got most of, uh, well, we haven't got inter a lot of interactions with the others, but Kaede is really damn likable. It's too early. Let's go! Oh, there's a person there. Oh god. Oh god, this is gonna drop some frames. Yep. Uh, I just hope this is alright. I'm actually gonna check it out. Oh god, I, I, made, a, I made a mistake, didn't I? Nope, I didn't. Okay, here we go. But this game definitely looks a lot more beautiful than uh, Danganronpa 1 and 2. I can't stress that enough. So, th this is a pretty big area. And over there we have more, more, more space. These are the dormitories? The dormitory is outside of the fucking academy. I was wondering why we didn't wake up in one of those. Oh. Oh, I can cross this, because that makes per perfect sense, okay. Jeez, how they even make this big-ass wall? Jeez, I don't get it. I wonder what will happen now, if we can't escape then. Eh, what, are you complaining? Quit complaining and grumbling, or I'll, it'll turn into a habit. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Finally, a guy that speaks my language. Um, At the universe? Got it. Oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. You're the ultimate astronaut. All right then. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> well, of course. Not just anyone can get up there. 
I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I oh, I see. So you're still a trainee. But, you know. but I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? huh? Then how did you take the exam? I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Oh, That's illegal! Yeah. yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep, sh deep shit. But the people t up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Of course, I aced the exam too. Jeez. That's reckless. Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your realities a dr a dreams a your dreams a reality. No way I can wait till after college. I wanna get to space as fast as I can. But you sure have a lot of energy. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, and I never gave up. Not for a moment. This guy is my fucking hero. Well, not really. But I respect him a lot. <laughs> yes, because limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. Well, that is true. Let's do it. There are no walls you can get over. The same goes for that one. Could it be... So, do you have any ideas? That's not the problem! Uh, no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. Kaito Momota. Kaito seems like a, a cool guy, but he also seems a bit loony. But okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see myself out. I shouldn't even have done that sound effect. I was I should have probably just. Wait, is that a building? Why can't we go there? Let me in! Let me in! Is that's a medieval castle? Nani the fuck is that? Alright, I'm just gonna... Go down there, I guess. So that is... Uh, it doesn't say. Good. Hmm. Who are you? Whoa! Oh, this guy looks scary, he's so big and muscular. Um, um excuse me. Huh? Hmm? Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you. Sorry. Oh, sorry for scaring. Um. Gonta, scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gon. Gon want to talk to Gonta when meeting for the first time. Oh. Oh, so you're one of the characters that the internet just buzzes about. Cause Gonta, gentlemen. So, like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um. Thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh, right. Gonta needs to make introduction. Um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta want to become gentleman. Become a true gentleman, Gonta's goal. Okay, this guy gets an A in my fucking book. I see. So you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Huh? Really? Thank you. Actually, oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly, for, silly me for being so scared at first. Oh, going to scary looking, huh? Sorry. Oh, sorry, that's not what I... No, no it's okay. Going to used to it. Going to called scary since he was a kid. Oh. Since you were a kid, huh? Oh. Kid going to bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of going to. So kid going to play alone. That's how going to came to like bugs. But when going to really focus, it's easy to lose track. One day, Gonta go to forest to find bugs, and up lost. That sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Mm. Yeah, it took ten years- Oh! <gasps> oh, Gonta, no! No! Oh, no, 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 no! No, 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 no! Huh? Ten years?! What? But Gonta, fine. New family took care of Gonta. Hmm. I see. I'm glad they were nice people. Um. Uh, not people. Wolves. Huh? Oh, wolves? What? But they're really nice. As a fo forest family, Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. Gonta. As things, Gonta want to, want to show forest family what great gentleman Gonta is. Um, how is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Huh? Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable that there are no animals but no insects? Insects? That's strange, not even one bug. Mean... You like bugs too. Amazing. Hey, what are your favorite bug? What do you like? <laughs> oh god. Uh... uh, no. I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Wait. Then you hate bugs? Oh, uh, what? But how? 
You hate bugs? Uh, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Shuichi? Okay. Yeah, of course I do. I love bugs. Thank goodness. Oh, okay, that good. No bad person likes bugs. Oh. Gonta, Gonta is a Gonta's true gentleman, but he's a bit disorientated. He just he just doesn't know. He just doesn't know. Come on, we got to He's like just a big he's He's just a big softy. That was scary. Yeah, I thought you were you were gonna die. Honestly, I can't send bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Gunt is awesome. All right, so literally everything is fucking except for this. It's probably okay. What is this? A sh is this what I think it is? Oh no, this has the format of a class trial room. <laughs> uh, why? But why? How many people are left, by the way? I think two? Yeah, two people. Yaha! Yaha, how are ya? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Angie Yonaga. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy considering the situation we're in right now. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. So says Atua. Atua? The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh, well, she's certainly devout. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Um, I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But Atu is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. So divine! <laughs> How divine! I see. I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course! In return, will you make an offering? Um, an offering? Uh... Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to off collect offerings. That sounds oddly familiar to putting out the trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just need a pit, a pint or two of your... A pint? A pint. Don't worry. Sorry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see. I see, so what about you then? Huh? Huh? Me? I mean, he's even more pale than Kaide, so, um... Uh, yep. Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on, it won't hurt one bit. Uh, wait a minute! <laughs> Don't run away! This girl is so weird, but I like her cheery ass attitude! Enji Onaga, I'll be sure to remember that name. I really liked her. <laughs> that introduction was top. But I'm guessing that's gonna be the class trial room, and uh. Well, it's not every game that you get to meet the- uh, that you get to see the class trial room before anything else. What the shit is this? Is this- is this- Is this a ninja statue? Looks like one, but why is this here? Seriously, there are so many odd things. I'm completely confused. <laughs> you guys have no idea how confused I am. Like, I am seriously lost. This, this, this prologue is throwing all of the tropes and elements from the previous two games, shoving them in a locker, and setting it on fire. I mean, except for the fact that, well, you get to meet everybody else, everyone else with the help of somebody. This, build, this building is round and has a lot of small rooms inside. Very nice to see you. Not again! Very nice to see you. Well, hello there! Why, hello there! Sorry to intrude. What is it this time? Now what do you mean by intruding? Because this is your home, you bastards! We finished setting up the showers, now you can go pee! Thanks, Mono Kid, very cool. Why don't you- why don't just- why don't they, you just use the toilets? Huh? Even for number two? Oh, wait, do you have number two? That's absolutely fucking disgusting. I did not need that mental imagery in my mind. Why did you put that mental imagery in my mind? You 
Gee, that's gross. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, for those of you who are wondering what this noise was, was me faking me was me faking throwing my controller against my hall, which is directly in front of my room. Thankfully, I didn't. I it would be many pieces if it did. But Jesus Christ, those guys are annoying. Not a nice substitute for Monokuma at all, at least so far. What do you mean, our home? Could it be? They mean for us to live here. I, I see there are 16 doors, and why is my voice suddenly... And why is uh, Shuichi's voice suddenly turning into Nagito's? I don't like this. <laughs> I need I need to focus. Every time I look at, at Shuichi, I do like a more deep, a deeper voice. But in reality, I decided to give him my actual voice, and this is hard. Perhaps a room for each of us? Stop it. It's, it's because, uh... It's because I'm used to having the voice, the, my, my voice, my normal voice to the protagonist, but I can't do that with Kaede! Uh, Kaede... But, whatever. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Well, I don't think anything else needs a room, but... Oh, I can 360 here. Goody. So this is everyone's room, right? And that's yours. Oh, oh they have... They have, they have a little pixel art. I like it. I'm, de I'm definitely not gonna steal it for like. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay, I, I didn't mean to say steal, I, I, I mean, I'm definitely not gonna recreate this in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, I've been recreating Danganronpa sprites, like the 8-bit ones <laughs> in Danganronpa. They're actually pretty cute, not gonna lie. Aoi was fucking huge, though. Anyways. I failed to see their objective. Uh, what do you mean? If they are holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be necessary. Furthermore, I gather they I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go through to all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Excuse me. Pardon me, I have not introduced myself yet. Please let me know if you require my service. Hirumi Tojo. Hmm. Alright. I really like your design as well. I gotta say, the designs in this game are fucking A. They're, they fucking aced all the designs. I, I especially like uh, Kibo's... Uh, uh, Hirumi's, which she just, she just introduced. I can't believe I already forgot her name. And, um... Oh, there was another one I said. This episode that I really like the design. Fuck. Oh well, whatever. Wow, the ultimate mate sounds like a really cool talent. Oh, uh, wait. I've heard of Kiru Kirumi Tojo. If I remember correctly, an ultimate with incredible intellect and strength, working as a private maid. I heard that her work is, is so perfect she can complete any request given to her. Huh? What? She's that amazing? I do not agree. Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it wasn't possible, I rejected it. <gasps> hey, you see that rival nation over there? Go fuck their shit up. Uh, no. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own. That's true. I've also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to several, several foreign dig dignitaries. I do not agree. I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. I see. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. Man. Moving on, what do you intend to do now? Hmm. That's a tough question. What should we do? Um, what do you th what would you do, Kirumi? I do not agree. I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. I am a maid as a, as a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. Oh god. Do you also see yourself as a tool? Yeah, I went there. Fucking roast me. So please, think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire for me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she is the, ulti the ultimate maid after all. Well, that's all- that's everyone, I guess. Is this what I think it is? Was that the bell? 
Interesting. The bell sounds differently. Oh. Kyrie, look, the monitor. Oh, God. Thanks for bearing with us. Hi, thanks for bearing with us. You bastards. Kept you bastards waiting, huh? All right. Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. Two. The opening ceremony can finally begin. Two. Hey, we finally finished our prepare. Oh, so that's why it was locked. Okay. Hey. You do realize you just rather your lines backwards, don't you? I don't like these guys. Jim, opening ceremony? Hey. Kylie, what should we do? Um what should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. You're right. True, but I'm a little worried about this. I'm not a little worried, I'm very worried. Alright, can I teleport, please? It, it, it would be so, so good if I could teleport. Okay, uh... Holy to the gym, alright. Yeah, I can teleport, that's really cool. How beautiful life fills me, man. I, I swear. This song is beautiful. Ugh! Alright, here we go. I can't use my force powers when I'm in 3D. Whatever. Oh, everyone's already here. This looks oddly familiar. All 16 of us have gathered. Mm, it's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us gather. Uh, 16 of us ultimates gathered together. <laughs> you may not be able to be so easy going for much longer. In this situation, it's no use thinking about things, so eventually Tsumuki stopped thinking. Yeah, what's it gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. Hmm. What? Huh? What are you looking at? Himiko! Um, Himiko! You can use amazing powers, right? Because you're a psychic and stuff, right? It's magic. I'm not a psychic, I'm a mage. Ah! Oh, that's amazing! I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido. The fuck is this on my arm? A piece of, piece of fucking. God damn it! The reaction voice. Stop. Hey, what sort of training did you undergo to gain your awesome powers? Thinking about it is too tiring. You're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Please don't. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. It'll be okay. There is no need to worry. Atua will protect us. Thank goodness. Dude, that's a relief. Fucking moron. Is your brain full of weeds or something? I'll, I'll whack him out of that skull of yours. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to... <gasps> Fuck's sake. The right analog stick is right next to the cr to the, uh, the cross button. I'm sorry. No, I'm just going to call it the X button. Fuck you. Just leave it to me. If those steady bears show themselves again, I, I'll kick on their asses. And this voice is gonna definitely kill my throat throughout the playthrough. Don't you wonder... Huh? What that? What's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong? See? Listen, hear that? Oh, the excess halls again? Ah, I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from that robot enemy. Yep. Uh, again. We've been here before! Everyone! Everyone, behind Gonta! What? what the heck? Are these monsters? Wow, so cool! God damn it, Kukiji! Hell yeah! They're Exosols! Highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms! They got a lot they got lots of hometown pride too! What are you saying? I can't keep track of these backstories. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the egos and save me for last. Hey! Run, Himiko! Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? By the way, didn't someone say they would kick their asses? Oh? Uh, what the hell? Nobody told me about these. <laughs> okay. All right, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us. They they have done it by now. That and Taro casually walked up to the exit halls. I swear to God, you know what's happening. Man. So what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? 
Let me guess, you're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we get hurt. Well, you have our attention, so what do you want? And that's that! Oh, huh. well, aren't you a wise guy? Hey! Well, start us all! Listen up! Here's what you, we want you punk asses to do! Ah, <laughs> uh, my heart's going 100 miles per hour! I'm gonna say it, you ready? Hell yeah, it's a... Uh... It's a killing game. Oh, Monodam said it. Huh? What? Hey! Monodam! How dare you upstage me! Huh? Wait a second. What did you say? Hmm. If I heard him correctly. It's a killing game. Oh, he said it again! Oh, God damn it, Monodam! I'm gonna crush you with this here Exosol! Come on, we don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Edward is getting his throat all sorted up, so I'm gonna stay in Monophony's voice for a little longer. Not really. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this. <laughs> that's heading fire to the fi that's heading oh, fire to the fuel. When did we go so wrong? You too, Monotaro. If this is what it's come to, then I will crush the four of you with this here Exosol. What are you saying? Hey, why are you including me? Oh well. Oh well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile with each other. Are they really gonna fight? You wanna go, Jabroni? <laughs> oh my god, they are gonna... Wait, this music is the same. Well, sort of. Who are you calling Jabroni? Jabroni! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck is this? <laughs> What'd you say, Jabroni? <laughs> I'll bow down any time, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! Because logic. Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? You! Wrong choice of words, but then again, it is you. Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. In a Atua. situation like this, is ah. he just going to watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else. Oh God, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need one of those um things for the throat after this episode. It's actually hurting. Now, now, now. Oh. Huh? What? My cute little cubs. You gotta knock off this awful fighting. Oh no, the V8 changed, didn't it? I mean. I'm probably gonna get used to, to this VA, but... Oh, uh, no, no. I like the old VA. Oh, father! Father! Father, is that you? Papa oh, God. Daddy? Daddy? Where are you, Daddy? Huh? Daddy? There we go. At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut, suddenly shut off. Na, na, na. I'm back! I'm back, bitches! Oh my god, what? What? He has wings. Okay. I am the god of this new world! Mm, then again, I don't know if they changed the VA. It does sound similar. Ah, oh, whatever. Then it, yeah, I don't think they changed it. I think it just sounds a little different. The one! The only! Monokuma! Nice to meet ya! The fucking legend. The fucking mad lad is back. Yay! Yay, father's here! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, another epic entrance from Papa Kuma! Hello. Daddy is so cool! Cubs, you're all so freaking cute! The only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is cause you're all, you're all so cute! Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are cute! And I just broke the fourth wall! That's right, bitch! That's right, Eduardo! I just joined the game and I already broke the fourth wall! What are you gonna do, huh? Nothing! I even have my kids to back me up this time! In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because you cutest cutie patooties weren't there. Is he referencing talking? Oh wait, no. 
Either one of two things. He's referencing Danganronpa 1 or he's referencing that part of the prologue. Well, no. No, he's definitely referencing Danganronpa 1. He's definitely referencing Danganronpa 1. That's beautiful. Hops, are you mad at us? Don't be, Don't be an idiot! I would never get mad at my cute little cubs! Ah, he is mad! But Daddy is still cool even when he's angry. Hobbs is from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. It's getting interesting. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4. That's gotta be another Dragon Ball Z fucking reference. If, if it isn't, just fucking kill me. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. How many times do I gotta say it? I'm not mad! Okay, so the Monokubs are gonna be Monokuma's little bitches this game, just like Monomi was last game. Okay. It was a Dragon Ball Z reference. It was a motherfucking Dragon Ball Z reference. It's the power you bust out when you really wanna fuck the world shit up. A power you only see when you're <laughs> Oh my god. If you don't get what they're talking about, either one of two things. Watch both Battle of Gods and Resurrection F of the movies, or watch Dragon Ball Super, which I advise. Anyway, I'm not- I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit, I'm actually proud of you guys! You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in this world! No way! Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but- I can't think of any, though. Yeah. Think of any? It's cause there's none worth remembering! I, I swear, man. Useless crap. Why? Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> I love embracing my children. They're so cute, I just can't help myself. Usually, ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. But in this case, ratings are through the roof, all thanks to the cute monocubs. <laughs> this was all a marketing ploy. I, I should have known. Should have known, damn it. The the monocubs made me buy the game. What is this? What's going on? Another teddy bear appeared. No. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see the despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. Wow! First of all, I'm no teddy bear, I'm Monokuma! And show some respect! I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles! Headmaster? It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI like me. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but the exosols are different, though. There are brainless buckets of bolts. That's right. mindless they're mindless pretty killing machines that can be only controlled by us, the monocubs. Sheesh. Autonomous robots piloting weapon platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. Actually. Well, that may be, but, but I'm worried about his this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? What is so amusing? Yeah. It's just when I said it before, I uh, kind of just phoned it in, and now I feel awkward. Extreme. I want you students with the students with your ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game. Huh? Killing game? Us? Please stop. Please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? huh? You guys don't want to do it? Don't ever do that. Of course not. Gentlemen, not hurt people. But if, if you looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. And as long as we have the exosols, you can't defy us. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. I mean, Monokuma... Monokuma didn't need any fancy toys in Danganronpa 1. What happened? Did you... Did you gain weight? So unsure. So do what you say if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Why would friends kill each other? Oh? Who said you guys were friends? No way! You guys aren't friends at all! Your enemies out to kill each other! <laughs> Naturally. Ugh, Byakuya, piece of shit. 
Huh? Enemies. We're enemies? I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All this talking is bugging the shit out of me! I gotta be the mono dance to relieve the stress. I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore in these situations, or bad situations. And Daddy, instead of a killing game, couldn't we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament? Stupid. I wanna play a game where no one dies. Me. Well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute I can barely stand it. Why, it's cute enough to eat! Cute enough, I don't want to eat it! Hey, hey Monophony, you might want to dial back the cute stick a bit. Right. Cool it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? What the hell, man? What are you asking? We need to get an info from them first. We can do anything if we don't know anything. No way. Weapons, huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong, Wyatt. The ultimate academy for ju get to juveniles. The killing game is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. What? Sophisticated experience? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it, here the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Uh. Class trials. Okie dokie. Okay, let us explain. you maggots kill someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. <laughs> Sounds like fun. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, then only the blackened killer will receive p -p punishment. But so girl. Just imagining all the bloody car makes me want to kill. Hey, want to know something? Monophony is voiced by Sonia's voice actress. And now you can never unsee it. After the blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial... I'll punish everyone besides the bu- Okay, never mind. The blackened gets off scot-free and all the spotless students get punished instead. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh! Oof. Yeah. Ah, too much! That explanation revealed way too much! You gotta be more coy, fl flirtatious, flirt flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Hey, the I'm point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the class trial. How should I put this? Kill without being caught, and then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. Unbelievable. You think so? Then the outside world must be masterfully designed, even at its cruelest. Listen. One can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? <laughs> Simply put, it's, a, it's an execution. Huh? Execution? <laughs> I live in a society, all right, bottom text. But this is a killing game, so the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent. If the punishment for murder is murder, <laughs> you get murdered. Hell yeah! Oh, I wonder what kind of punishments there'll be. And I guess many people, many people, the first time they play this, ask themselves that. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff that gives me a, r a raging bone. <laughs> oh god, this game is even more inappropriate than Danganronpa 2, and I thought that wasn't possible. Yeah. Oh, Mono Kid, you already have a bone. <laughs> oh my god. Blood, guts, brain. Oh, man. Oh, Monophony mono mono just puked. Oh my god. Yeah. Huh? Puke gives you a boner too. <gasps> what is this game? <laughs> you kids are just adorable! What? What the hell's cute about that? Well, Alright, I'm over all this boring exposition. Kills, kills, kills. Let's get this heart pounding killing school semester started already! Like bludgeon 
Stabbing or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try strangulation. Feeling lazy? Try poisoning. Oof. Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crash, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death. That's something you would do. You can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. Oh, goody. Sixteen talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. There's no better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy. You got me. Playing school semester. It's like a game. <laughs> Risking your life for some silly game is absurd. But it doesn't seem like it'll be boring though. <laughs> hey! How can you degenerates be so calm? It, it can't this be. This has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? Uh a lie. More like fiction. Like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality we can hardly believe it's happening. No use. I don't want to be in the killing game. It's wrong. I, I'd never do that. <laughs> well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's going to be a problem. Because the killing game is the only reason you're here. Huh? What? Now then. now then, unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Oh, geez. Wait just a minute. Oh. Hmm? Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it. We'll never participate in a killing game. I'll do it. Whatever you have planned, I'm not gonna let you get away with it. Um. Heidi, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. That's no, nice. no! I welcome her resistance! That kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game! It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. Uh. What do you mean by that? Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game, especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I just get unbearably pumped up. Because. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. <laughs> what a fucking prologue. Sitting dumbfounded silence, surrounded by this quilling laughter monocoma and his cups. Look, the animation really went up. Everything about the situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. And you friends forced to play some killing game. It, it all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story, no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. This is the end of the prologue, right? Oh! This is the intro! Let's see it! Mm, the jazz! Hey, Kaede Kamatsu! Kibo! I like how everyone is depicted as a possible black and in the background. Ooh, yeah! Something about that guy gives me vibes! Juichi Sayara. Tsumugi Shirogane. I do like the music, it's pretty funky compared to the other openings. Still, my favorite opening so far is Danganronpa 2, and I don't think this one is gonna top it. Kenji Yonaga, Yomahoshi. Oh god. What is this? Is this the voting the voting machine? Monokuma. Monocubs, yep. Alright. I can't wait to be able to play chapter one, honestly. That's gonna be interesting.
Hagen Rumpa V3 Killing Harmony. On the second episode, we get the title screen and the end of the prologue. Oh, Ultimate Revival. And, oh, that's the name of the prologue? Ultimate Revival? Ultimate Cold Open. Obtain the present. Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles badge. This is cool. And I do want to save. <laughs> okay. This game is very interesting. Uh, it's very fucking inappropriate. Like, I'm way more uncomfortable in this game than in Danganronpa 2. And that game had its fair share of uncomfortable moments. Alright? Just wanted to say that first. Just getting the obvious out of the way. And second, I feel like this prologue... This prologue is really, really, really important. I'm gonna... I feel like it's gonna be... Uh, especially that first part where we didn't know what the fuck was happening and everyone had, like, a school uniform, a regular school uniform, and nobody remembered their ultimate abilities. Yeah. That part, that part seemed like it was a major plot point, and it's probably gonna get explained later on. Dying Rump always does that. Another thing, uh, I really want to say is, uh, Rantaro. I don't know why, I just get some strange vibes out of that guy. I, I just do, I swear. Rantaro just makes me uncomfortable. It just does. I don't care what it is. It just does. And I'm probably gonna have a blast with Kokichi. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I'm probably gonna hate him if he's like the Nagito of this game. But uh, in Ko Ko Korekyo, or Korekyo or whatever how it's pronounced, I don't care. Kyo, as he wants to be called. He has the dialect of Nagito, but I think the personality of Nagito reincarnated in the fucking ultimate supreme leader bullshit. I, I don't know. Kokichi Yoma seems like an interesting character, and I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of him from this playthrough. The characters that I wasn't so impressed by using their introductions alone, it's kind of hard to pick, honestly. I really like Gonta. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't think I have to say anything else about that. I think the majority of the fandom will, will agree with me when I say Gonta seems like an amazing character. And, um, but, oh god, is there someone I really, like, didn't stand out? Huh. I guess Tsumugi. Tsumugi uh, Shirogane. I mean, she seems cool, but kind of there. Also, I really like Kirumi's design. Fucking hell, that looks awesome. And anyways, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna end the episode here, because otherwise I'd just be praising the prologue all the way until, like, the two-hour mark, and we don't want that. Anyways, guys! That'll be all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new to the channel. And if you want to be notified of future uploads like this one, hit the little bell. You know what to do. Also, if you want to join my Discord server, link is down in the description below. Guys, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time... Peace!